I've never been a huge laptop lover, starting with the fact that until some time ago, I never had the need of using one. I barely get out of my house, which means that I use my PC most of the time to get my work done. But with the channel getting bigger, I thought that it would be fine to get a cheap laptop that could help me to work on videos while I was away. That's why I bought a ThinkPad, and here's my review. To support the channel, you can like, subscribe, donate, or leave a comment. I always hold them. Thank you. I have to admit that initially I wanted to buy a used or refurbished old MacBook. Why? Well, they have a processor decent enough for what I wanted to use them for, grading scripts, editing thumbnails on GIMP, probably light video editing at 1080p and coding. They had decent I.O., a good screen, and running macOS doesn't age as badly as running Windows. All of this changed when I remembered about those occasional memes that you could find on r slash Linux memes about ThinkPads. <laughs> so, I watched a couple of videos about them and noticed that they tend to have decent hardware and age really well. I looked on shopping websites and I was surprised by how cheap some of these are. It was like a steal. As an example, I've seen retail laptops that have a Pentium or Celeron processor being sold at $600, and you could get a ThinkPad from the mid or late 2010s with an i5 or i7 for half the price. So this one was the best offer I could find. A refurbished ThinkPad T450 with an Intel Core i7 5600 U, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, and a 600 by 900 pixels display, all for $200. I installed Fedora Linux on this laptop because I'm not a monster. To my surprise, it was all pretty easy and everything worked out of the box. I was impressed by the fingerprint scanner even working from the terminal. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Even though, I still struggled to get completely used to it as you have to swipe your finger across it at a certain speed. The design looks basic, it is not as beautiful as an M1 MacBook, but it doesn't look ugly either. I don't find it that thick, even though it is not super slim. A thing that does bother me is that it gets dirty easily, and is very noticeable near the fingerprint scanner. I do love the LED in the eye of the ThinkPad back logo, I think it's as cool cool as those older MacBooks that had a shining Apple logo but without wasting much battery. It also serves as an indicator for the sleep and charging state. I got the 14 inches model and I love the size. I hate big laptops and phones, but this one feels like an in-between, just a little larger than a Chromebook and is very comfortable to use. The I.O. is a little bit outdated, unfortunately, but you do have a lot of options. You're not going to find USB-C. Other than that, there are two USB-A 2.0 ports on the left, a proprietary charging port that at least is reversible, micro display port output, and a smart card reader. On the right, you have a VGA output, another USB-A 2.0 port, full-size SD card reader, even a SIM card tray for cellular data, I guess, and the headphone jack. The hinge is okay, not like super great, but I don't think it's an issue either. It does support 180 degrees though, but you can't open it with one finger. In terms of performance, it is very fast opens applications instantly and does not have a hard time editing pictures or audio. The battery is decent, it is refurbished, so it shouldn't be degraded. Last about 3 hours on power saving mode, even when using the external battery that you can attach on the back. This one charges the main battery, so the removable ones last a shorter amount of time, and when removing them, the ThinkPad won't get shut down. To be fair, all 
laptops I've used have had awful battery life, so I don't know exactly if that's a universal thing. You won't get Chromebook or Apple Silicon Mac battery life, so you probably should bring your charger in an external battery bank. The display kinda sucks, and I have to admit that I was even more scared to get an even worse one, as the spec sheet I saw when opening the box said that it was an even lower resolution panel, but I guess I got lucky. Now the resolution is not what bothers me, I actually think it looks pretty nice. I've seen worse resolutions. The issue is that it is a TM panel, so it has awful viewing angles, affecting mainly the contrast. Fortunately, replacement parts for ThinkPads are usually cheap, and there are many available. The speakers are also really bad. I'm no audiophile, but I can notice that it lacks depth, and the bass is almost non-existent. For basic stuff like watching videos is totally fine though, but when listening to music, you will notice that it could be better, even if the maximum volume is pretty loud. The webcam and microphone suck, but basically all laptop webcams and mics do. There is not a privacy shutter for the webcam, but there is an LED light when you use it. I've heard good things about the keyboards of these laptops, even if this one does not have the very praised old keyboards. I have to agree and say that it is the best laptop keyboard I've used. It is not a mechanical keyboard, but it has a good amount of travel distance and gives you a bouncy feedback with every key press. I wrote the script on this ThinkPad and it was a very pleasant experience. I would have liked to have a play and pause media key and the position of the FN key triggers me a lot though. The backlit feature works very nice, you can switch its brightness level and get light enough for very dark environments. The key labels are not completely transparent, but the backlit does help a lot to find your keys. I barely use the track point, what others call the nip or the cl but I think it's nice to have it. I will try to use it more often. It feels interesting, because it doesn't really move like a joystick, it's more like a solid point. The trackpad is also very good, feels smooth and is not so big, but I think it's large enough. Multi-touch gestures on GNOME worked like a dream. I think starting to use more the mouse buttons on the trackpad, at first I thought they were redundant, but for opening instances of apps or tabs with the middle mouse button, it helps. It also has a very nice feedback, probably uses the same mechanism of the keys. And finally, let's talk about gaming. You can definitely game on this, but lower your expectations. You can run games like Enter the Gungeon or Terraria very easily. Even CSGO and Minecraft Java at a lower resolution and graphic settings can run decently without getting super hot. I don't think you should have any issues with emulating games, especially from older consoles, but only that, no AAA games, I would recommend you to buy a fan base for the laptop. To play, you will absolutely need a mouse. If you try to doing it with the trackpad because of the palm rejection, it is not only uncomfortable but plain impossible as it misses a ton of input. You could be a chat and play with the track point, but it is very uncomfortable. So do I recommend one of these? They are so cheap that buying a Chromebook instead is not worth it at all, considering that you can run full Linux or Windows or even Mac OS. <laughs> if you're on a budget, it is truly worth it and is the best you can get at that price. Even though consider that newer models tend to be less upgradable and older models are getting a little bit behind, so you will have to look one that is balanced enough, not so old but not so new. I think that starting with this model, you can't replace the CPU. Still, for a laptop that came out in 2015, it is very good. Now, I get why people love ThinkPads. Thanks for watching the video, I really appreciate it. Goodbye, uh, see you in the next one.